Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. If you're building a 440 and you're changing cylinder heads in the valve train, and if you're changing the cylinder heads specifically to trick flow cylinder heads, there's something you need to know about the clamp bolts that hold down the rocker rail. The, the rocker rail is how oil gets distributed to the top of the engine, and it's those clamps that help with the distribution. There are five clamps that hold down the rocker rail. You'll have three small ones and two big ones. The bigger ones, this is where the oil comes through the head, comes through the head, goes past the bolt into the rocker rail and distributes oil through the top of the engine. You'll see that the bolts for the wider clamps are longer. And that is because when engines were first made and they were cast cylinder heads, these bolts actually went deeper into the cast iron heads. But with aftermarket heads, and again, specifically Trick Flow, Trick Flow changed their design so that you don't need longer bolts. As a matter of fact, if you bolt these down in a Trick Flow head, you're going to end up with the clamp bolts for the wider clamps sticking up like this. So you obviously have to do something to fix these bolts. Now, you have a couple options. The first option is you can buy a kit that has the the four bolts that you're going to need, two on each side. You get the four smaller bolts and just use those. Or you can take the bolts that you have and simply cut them down. Now there have, since the, if you're using an aftermarket rocker rail and using aftermarket clamps, and especially aftermarket heads like the Trick Flows, they're designed to ease oil flow from the block into the head to distribute into the rocker rail. It's designed that way. There's more uh, holes drilled in the head uh, specifically drilled in the oil passageways to get that oil in there. Uh, the old cast iron, if you had an original cast iron head from whatever back in the 70s to the 80s, took it out of an RV or something like that, it relied on the clearance between the bolt and the hole in the cylinder head so the oil would pass past the bolt and get into that rocker rail. And um, there were a lot of people that I've seen in the past where they would take these bolts and they would grind lines going up to get so the oil has a path to go uh, from the oil passageway up into the rocker rail. And if you have an original engine, those engines will actually have a thinner bolt that goes in the wider clamp. And that thinner bolt, the thinner shank on the bolt, allows that oil to go past the bolt into the rocker rail. So since I have the trick flow heads, with the long bolts, I have to cut these bolts. Now, even though the longer bolt is three quarters of an inch longer than the shorter bolt, you only need to cut off about a half an inch for the trick flow head. Now, don't forget, these bolts are going into aluminum, so if you do cut it, make sure you put a nice chamfer on the end and make sure the lead thread is not too sharp so it doesn't shave the aluminum as it's going in the hole. Once you're done, test fit the whole thing together and make sure they all fit and hold the rocker rail nice and tight. Now all of the bolt heads will fit inside the clamp evenly all the way across all five. Now if you're not comfortable cutting the bolts, just buy the kit. It's only like 25 or 30 bucks. Could save you a lot of headaches in the long run if you're not sure how to cut a bolt. Thanks for stopping my Pete's Garage.